Having the Right Attitude, Podcast by Daniel, Personal, Development, 123.com. Having the right attitude can go a long ways. Attitude makes all the difference in the quality of your life. There are many different attitudes that will get you far, but some of the most successful people in history share some of the same characteristics. These characteristics of having the right attitude will lead you to more promotions, a better family life, more successes, better health, happiness and to open the door to countless opportunities have you ever gone into something knowing you are going to fail and guess what if you went into something with the failure added to chances you didn't do as good as you could have and you know it Having a negative or pessimistic attitude about things automatically lowers your self-esteem and will subconsciously make you try less to accomplish your task. Don't worry you're not alone. Millions of people every day go through life with the wrong attitude and don't even realize it. The good news is that you have the power to change your attitude and make your life what you want of it. It really isn't that hard and won't require any money. With just a little bit of time and dedication you can learn all the traits that make up the right attitude for success. Attitude is also a direct reflection of how you handle situations that occur in your life. If you're always thinking why did this happen to me, instead of I'm ready to beat all of the challenges life can bring chances, you might be going around with the wrong attitude. This can lead to countless failures and an accumulation of stress and stressful situations. Do you know someone who no matter what always succeeds? Chances are that luck isn't the biggest factor in their lives. Two people can look at the same situation in two completely different ways. One person may feel overwhelmed and discouraged by the event while another may go in and completely turn it around into a positive learning experience. The difference is having the right attitude. What makes the right attitude? Here is a list of some traits that accompany people who have good attitudes. You don't have to have all of these traits, but the more the better. Be willing to do things you or nobody else wants to. Be able to take constructive criticism and use it to your advantage. Be hardworking and dedicate to things sometimes not getting rewards until the later date. Be honest. Care about yourself and be confident. Let passion drive your life. See things that happen as challenges instead of problems. Stay positive. Be self-motivated. Study these traits and try to work as many of them into your life as you can. Don't spend too much time worrying if you can apply them all that's okay. Apply as many as you can, and let it be natural and genuine. Most importantly don't fake these, because people will be able to tell. The world is full of people who are fake, and make excuses for everything. They will try to find the best excuse they can, just to prove that it wasn't their fault. Instead of taking responsibility and acting in a way that will make the situation better. Accept what happens and make an effort to make things better. By doing this you are one step closer to success. Always care about yourself. Having low self-esteem will set you up for failure, almost every time. 
Believe in your abilities and take pride in the work you complete. If you give something your best that's the best you can do and leave it at that. Always be willing to do things you wouldn't normally do or other people don't want to. There are several good reasons why you should do this. For one, it will allow you to experience something new and grow outside your comfort zone. Another good reason is that by doing this you demonstrate that you have what it takes to get stuff done at all costs. This is an excellent trait to learn, and other people will recognize and appreciate it. If something needs to be done don't make up an excuse, just do it. This also shows that you are hard working. When I say hard working, it isn't about the person who sweated the most, but about who made best use of their time the quality of the finished product, and of course, how much effort overall you put into it. You don't necessarily have to be working harder than anyone else to accomplish this. Some people have learned the term work smart not hard. The main thing is that you are giving it your best. The harder you try, and the more you put in, the better the results will be. Being self-motivated to try your hardest can be tricky at times. If you have a passion for what you're working on, then motivation will come almost naturally with very little effort. Always think of a good and positive reason why you are doing what you are. If you can't then think of it's for the person I love, or I know this will help me somewhere down the road. Whatever your motivators are, use them to your advantage. Everyone has motivation, or you wouldn't even get out of bed in the morning. One of the most important traits of a person with the right attitude is being positive. Learn to stay positive even in the most negative situations. By doing this you will learn to handle things with success in mind. Obstacles will become challenges, and you will grow from them, instead of being stressed. People with an optimistic mindset will go very far in life, and will be able to live a very broad amount of experiences. If you don't know if you're optimistic or not I'll tell you an easy way to know. Go into the kitchen and fill an empty glass exactly halfway with water. Step back and look at it, and you will say one of two things, either it's half full or half empty. If the glass is half full congratulations, you are already thinking positive in some respect. This shows that you are acknowledging that at least you have half a glass, it's better than having nothing. If you went the other route, then you are displeased, because you only have half a glass instead of a full one. One of the easiest techniques to learn optimism is to simply be thankful for what you do have. Take five minutes every day to either say in your mind, or write down all of the blessings you have in your life. Think really hard and even the smallest ones count. Stay focused and be patient. If you keep trying your attitude will develop and with the right attitude you can do anything. If you like this podcast, visit my site personal development one two three dot com